Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. My name is Michael Brunson. I'm an instructor in the Park Management and Conservation Program at Kansas State University. And I just wanted to share with you a little bit of my experience with incorporating field journals or nature journals into one of my classes. So a quote from Rachel Carson that's really stuck with me over the years is the following. It is not half so important to know as to feel. Facts are the seeds that later produce knowledge and wisdom, and the emotions and impressions of the senses are the fertile soil in which the seeds must grow. And as much as I want my students to retain information and facts and things like that in my class, I want them to have a connection to those facts. I want them to have a connection to that information, and not just be something that they have to memorize. So this is something that I've um, found a lot of success with these nature journals, these field journals, incorporated it into one of my classes. It's really helped my students engage with the content, um, think about their connections with a variety of aspects in the natural world, and really help utilize, as this quote states, you know, their senses and um, connect their uh, emotions and feelings into the class contents, which can be extremely beneficial for a variety of reasons. And we can take a quick look at the literature and, and find that there is plenty of evidence um, to support the, the beneficial outcomes of any kind of journaling, um, whether it's nature journaling or otherwise, and not just at any age group, but specifically in higher education as well. So nature journaling um, can be a multi-layered pedagogical tool of experience, collaboration, participation, reflection, and environmental teaching and learning in higher ed. Uh, after completing a cycle of consistent nature observations, students were incorporating direct uh, experience, that observation, as a valuable strategy for reading and writing. So already uh, highlighting that connectivity between being out in the field, journaling there, um, and then incorporating things in the classroom as well. And then also this idea that um, studies have shown that faculty believe in the potential of journals the value of journals is a positive tool to encourage reflection and learning. So a little bit about my class. It's um, in the Park Management and Conservation Program, and it's natural history for the park professional. So it's primarily based on wildlife identification and looking at uh, native fauna to not just Kansas, but the greater Great Plains ecoregion. Uh, but it also incorporates concepts of natural history and the role that natural history still plays in, uh, in our lives. So we do uh, primarily wildlife identification, but we also spend a lot of time out in the field during lab sessions where we're exploring the natural areas around us, visiting different parks and protected areas around, um, around campus and around the state, and really trying to be as immersive as possible. And this is where field journals have come in. So right from the start, you know, results were, were mixed like anything else. Students would submit basic sketches, drawings, nothing fancy, um, a few quotes here and there, or notes. Um, and again, these, these ran the gamut from basic pencil and paper to you know, sketch pads, watercolors, colored pencils, things like that. And from the start, I expressed that this was not an artistic competition. I just wanted students to put pen to paper or pencil to paper or colored pencils to paper. Just write what they saw, draw what they saw, take that time to just share what they were seeing. But it was also interesting to see that from even the same students, you saw a, a um, growth of engagements or an increase in engagement. So the first picture is from the same student and is the, the other picture with the bird wings. So a, a noticeable increase um, or, or growth in uh, dedication almost in what they were sharing, what they were being involved in, the intricacy, intricacy of their journals. And again, everything from highlighting the weather, the temperatures, what they were seeing, and just personal thoughts as well. And again, it wasn't just about drawing or pictures, any thoughts down on paper, and students were fantastic about sharing some really deep and meaningful thoughts. And then even these journals provoked questions. 
So even asking simple questions of phenological changes of the season about why leaves change um, at different times of the year and why they change in the way that they do. So provoked questions from these journals as well. So a few takeaways, you know, obviously students love being outside. That was one of the big, biggest benefits of, of these opportunities and these lab sessions. Um, but for more of a pragmatic approach, you know, I graded these as pass-fail. I didn't want any pressure to be on um, you know, whether they were going to get a good grade on these or whether they were grading to me as far as how to review them. So I graded as pass-fail, which worked really well. I was able to connect that class content to the field experience, really relate things in that way. Um, and just the fact that journaling of any kind is immersive. It fo uh, forces them to slow down especially in this busy world where we're always walking as fast as we can somewhere, walking to class, walking to town, whatever, maybe on our phones. Uh, but it forced my students to slow down, take in things around them. And these kind of journals have endless applications. These can be anything from, um, you know, very strict um, scientific observations, journaling, things like that. But as a few of my examples showed, you know, these can be as basic as what do you see today? What do you observe? What birds are out there? What animals? What's the weather? And again, that really brings students back to the content, forces them to slow down, take in the world around them, and um, kind of reap the various benefits that uh, these, these tools can have, both in and out of the classroom. So thank you very much for taking the time to uh, listen to what I had to share. I'd be more than happy to discuss this, this aspect of nature journaling in greater depth if anybody wants to reach out to me. But thank you again, and I hope you all enjoy the rest of the class.